Let me hear that whooping. Let me hear that cheering. Please welcome to the stage the amazing Mr. Nelson T. Gomba Comba Jr. Uh, let's start a nice gentle ripple of applause as we get Nelson T. Gomba Comba to the stage. Let's raise the roof for Nelson T. Gomba Comba. We've shown since the beginning. Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage Nelson T. Gomba Comba. Please welcome the stage, Nelson T. Gomba Comba. Please welcome to the stage your second act for the evening. It is Nelson Gomba Comba. I shut the fuck up. Please give a massive round of applause for this next act. It's um, I'm going to have a problem with his surname. I know for a fact I am, but because uh, I'm just slightly northern. And uh, I want to give a massive round of applause for Nelson T. Gom Gom Boom Combo 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 Go Home Combo 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 Thank you. Make some noise, ladies and gentlemen, please. Make some noise, even though it looks like I'm coming straight from work. Uh, <laughs> make some noise, even though it looks like I've written these jokes on my lunch break. Because uh, I did. Um, and here we are today. So my name is Nelson Tinashe Gomba Komba Jr. the <laughs> second. That only stops being funny when you realize it's true. Uh, I always tell the ladies the name Nelson Tinashe Gomba Komba Jr. the second is the shortest thing about me and uh, <laughs> that, that never gets old. It's like, okay, okay. It's, it's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> listen. So, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm half black, half Chinese. My father doesn't like that joke, but our neighbor, Mr. Chang, thinks it's really funny. He's like, <laughs> they, it, it's like, he comes up to me after the show, like, Nelson, I really like that joke. Uh, she, she, she. That's how you say thank you in Chinese. Uh, my wife is very hairy, man. Fuck. Uh, listen, listen. I got a hairy wife. Like, <laughs> listen, she, listen. She's hairy. Like, she is hairy. Literally everywhere like she's she's hairy like everywhere except for eyebrows <laughs> that is where she draws the line <laughs> thank you thank you thank you shut the fuck up i had to start with that joke okay okay i had to start with that joke because we're about to talk about something very serious here like like the other day i got on a bus right and there was this lady who was breastfeeding, you know. She was breastfeeding. And then this man stood up. He was like, ma'am, stop breastfeeding in public. And then everyone remained silent and awkward because that's, that's just a weird thing to say in public, right? <laughs> then the man stood up again. He was like, ma'am, stop breastfeeding in public. So I thought to myself, this is my one chance to stand up for women's rights. So, so, so I pulled the titties out of my mouth and I said, sir, leave my wife alone, sir. Leave my hairy wife alone. And then Mr. Chang was like, uh, no, sir, I didn't like that joke. I should, I should. <laughs> Listen, get this right. My wife's got one of them long titties that like, go, you know, the ones you see on National Geography, them National Geography titties. So I really had to like spit it out of my mouth. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know when a magician pulls that cloth out of their sleeve? I was, I was like, ah! How rude of you, sir, to try to interrupt me whilst I'm... So, so the other day, me and the hairy wife were watching Fifty Shades of Grey, right? <laughs> and I was like, baby, let's recreate this. So, so she chains me up. She chains me up, and then she starts whipping me. Like, whip, whip. Like, you know, that whipping sound. Starts whipping me. Thank you, sir. 
starts whipping me. And I soon found out it's really hard to say the safe word when you have that bull gag in your mouth. <laughs> I was like, stop! Black Lives Matter, stop! Stop! We were meant to recreate Fifty Shades of Grey, but we ended up recreating 12 Years a Slave. I was like, stop! Oh, thank you, you did. Uh, you know, you know, listen, uh, she whipped me like we had been caught recreating Fifty Shades of Grey in Saudi Arabia. I was like, <laughs> you know, the worst part is I now have to be whipped like that every time to reach orgasm. Okay, uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I only got 10 minutes. Let's try to laugh quickly because I got to get through this joke. Uh, I know, man. So get this right. I, I'm originally from Zimbabwe, which means my passport will never get stolen. Uh, uh, I'm going to steal my passport then run after me like, sir, take your shit back. I lived in Zimbabwe until I was able to swim. Uh, Like, like I, I swam all the way from Africa. Yeah. I, I almost drowned 27 times. Uh, I fought sharks and fought pirates and all that. Uh, only to get washed up in this place called Great Yarmouth. Now, I don't know if you've been there, but I did look around for a bit. And then I started swimming back to Africa. <laughs> I was like, if that is great Yarmouth, I don't want to see the normal Yarmouth. <laughs> Can you dig it? Uh, yeah, man. Like, my family later on moved to Nor Norwich. We live in Norfolk right now. I asked a girl from Norfolk why she doesn't date any black guys. And she said it's because there aren't any in her family, which is a fair point. That's a tight argument right there. You can't argue. <laughs> In Norfolk, FamilyTree.com is a dating website. Uh, thank you. Okay, you want one more? Okay, uh, <laughs> listen, listen, uh, in Norfolk, FamilyTree, okay, no, I don't that. Listen, um, stop it, listen. In Norfolk, an after-sex selfie and a family portrait are the same thing, like, like that's my mother, that's my father. <laughs> uh, Norwich is whiter than cocaine, man. Like, <laughs> like even when I went, even in high school, even in high school when the teacher read out my name, she would skip all the other boring names uh, just to get to my name. Cause you know, like, like, sir, what's your name? She'd skip that. That's, that's a shit name, that's a boring name. She'd skip all your names and then she'd get to my name. And then there'd be silence and anticipation. <laughs> and all the kids would gather around like a mini staff party. And like the teacher would say out my name like, Nelson Tina Shegomba Komba Junior. Azi Winyama, Winyama. Nelson Tina Shegomba And then all the other kids would lift me up like the Lion King. <laughs> And then they'd all start dancing around me, like, like we never got any work done, which is why I'm doing this job right now. But uh, they, they just they start dancing. It's crazy. Like, like in my high school, there were four black kids, but the only people that knew there were four black kids were the four black kids. Everyone else just thought it was one black kid. It was everywhere. Like, like Nelson, I've just seen you playing cricket. What are you doing in the science exam? Just seen you at the bus stop. What are you doing smoking weed? Okay. Listen, uh, one of the four black kids was my little brother. And sometimes, like, like I'd be able to spot his little black head bubbling in the ocean of white Norfolk kids, you know. And I tried to like sneak up behind him, like, like oh, try to surprise him, like, hey, little brother. Hey. And then it would turn out to be a different black kid. And I'd be like, <laughs> and I'd feel racist, like, damn, they all look the same to me. <laughs> and then Mr. Chang would be like, that's not, that's not. Okay, so. it's crazy, man. There are so f there's so few black people that in Norwich, there's so few black people in Norfolk where I live that every time you see one, you gotta do the head note. 
Like, what's up, bro? <laughs> you give play? Amen. I was in South London the other day, and I kept going like, God damn, God damn. <laughs> It's always funny though. Sometimes you see a dark skinned Asian person and you confuse them for a black person. So you do that head note like, and then they reply with their own head note like, what? <laughs> and you're like, oh, sorry, sorry. Wrong ethnic minority. Uh. Wrong person of color. Uh. Person of color. Fuck that phrase, man. I hate that phrase. Who decided we were going to be called people of color, huh? Why not something cooler? Why not something else like, like people of speed? <laughs> Welcome to the 100 meter Olympic final. We have eight people of speed. Uh, <laughs> these are the fastest motherfuckers in the world. You cannot catch them if you tried. <laughs> people of seasoning. Uh, <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. People of sickle cell, no, no, that, no, that, one, that one does, <laughs> okay, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, do you guys ever watch Britain's Good Talent and feel like there must be dogs that watch this show and feel like they've wasted their whole lives? <laughs> this is a new joke, by the way, unrelated to what I was talking about, but, <laughs> but you know, because PGT was on eh, recently and I kept thinking, like, are there dogs that watch this show? Feel like they've wasted their whole lives. <laughs> like, 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 like there will be a dog at home watching British Good Talent, and then the dog sees all the other d dogs do tricks, and then the dog at home goes, "How does he do all those tricks? <laughs> How does he chase the ball like that?" And then the dog at home starts having an existential crisis, like, <laughs> like "Am I even a good boy?" <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy. It's always funny though on Britain's Good Talent when someone brings a dog and the dog refuses to do tricks and the contestant is just sitting there like, do tricks, do tricks, do tricks. And the dog is just sitting there talking to the judges like, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Whenever practice this, <laughs> I don't know any of this shit. I don't want to get up. If you have never experienced erectile dysfunction, then that's what it's like. It's like you have taken your dog to Britain's Good Talent and your dog is refusing to do tricks. And now your penis is just sitting there talking to the girl like, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, we never practice this. Uh, I don't know any of this shit. And sometimes you get brave though, you try to put it in and <laughs> you know, okay. I'm just saying, you, you do try, don't you? Some men do try regardless. You do try regardless to put it in. And then you end up feeling like North Korea because the missiles just don't reach where you want them. <laughs> Thank you. That counts as a political joke, by the way. I haven't finished. <laughs> Still on animals, by the way. Um, I was talking to my pet zebra the other day. And, and I was like, zebra, are you white with black stripes? Or, or, or are you black with white stripes? <laughs> Then the zebra ran away with my bag of weed. Uh, I was going to write a punchline for that joke, but I just thought you'd fill it in based on your own racial prejudice. Like, <laughs> like you decide what race is every. <laughs> hey, guys, listen. Uh, All right, so, so let me leave you on this serious note, right? So, so I have a little mixed race. I have a little mixed race. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's starting to make sense of the world, right? And so... He comes up to me one day, he's like, Daddy, mom is white and you're black, so, so what does that make me? So I, I looked into his eyes and I realized this is like a very crucial time in his life because he still <laughs> thinks like, oh, people are the same and all that shit. So, so I looked him in the eyes and I realized that what I was going to tell this little kid would shape up the rest of his life. So I was like, sit here, you little bastard, you know, he sat on my lap. <laughs> I looked him in the eye, and I said, son, you're half black, half Chinese. Now, uh, <laughs> he didn't really like that joke, but our neighbor, Mrs. Chang, though, it was really funny. She was like, Nelson, I really like you. <laughs> Nelson T. Gomba Comba Jr., peace and love. 
If you like what you saw, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nelson T. Gumba Comba Jr. Good luck spelling that. Uh, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Peace out. Thank you. Nelson T. Comba Chopper Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for Nelson, please. Nelson was once more again one of our new Iraqs coming down to do tr trying out 10 minutes for you guys if you want to see him again sometime in the future make some noise now please <laughs> ladies and gentlemen Nelson Gomba come on.